Hello and welcome to my channel. I'd like to take a couple of moments to tell you what makes my channel unique. Now I do cover a lot of very hot technology subjects, data analysis, data engineering, data architecture, AI, on and on, programming related to these, and of course analytics in general. So these are very hot topics which are highly in demand in careers. And that may be what brought you to my channel in the first place. But how do I teach? The thing that I think most distinguishes my channel is that I focus a lot on understanding the conceptual basis of the subjects I teach. Before you jump into coding, you need to understand the fundamentals. A mechanic needs to understand how a car works for he or she can learn the skills to be a good mechanic. So I spend a lot of my time figuring out the best way to break down a complex subject and present it in a way that makes it simple to understand. Then, once I've established that, I demonstrate how to use the service or write code related to the service that builds on that framework I've established. So you can extend your knowledge as you go, but it's falling under this umbrella of conceptual understanding that I've already built. It takes me between 20 and 30 hours to produce a video. That may seem surprising, but it comes down to all of the work I do establishing the content before I even start recording. And then I spend a lot of time editing the video I've recorded so that I don't waste any of your time. Any dead space is deleted, any mess ups in my speech I get rid of so I sound like I know exactly what I'm talking about all the time. And I make it as condensed as I can. And I also use a format for teaching which is known as a best practice, which is I tell you what I'm going to teach. I give you an outline. Then I go through that outline point by point until I reach the end and we've covered the material. And then I go back to the original outline and I summarize what we covered. Now this is a good idea because I don't know about you, but I can't remember anything in the first pass. Somebody has to tell me a dozen times, right? <laughs> so uh, by at least doing this, you've heard a lot of the material three times. First at a sort of high level, this is where we're going, and then in detail, and then I summarize. I have found that is a good practice as a way to learn. Once I have that conceptual basis established, then we can get in and create code. And it doesn't really take us long to get there. I just want to make sure you understand what we're doing. I teach you in small incremental chunks so you put a stake in the ground before you move on to more material. This helps you to build confidence as you go. I include a link to the slides and the code in the video description and you can go back and get a copy of that for your own reference and even to cut and paste the code for your use. I do warn you though the code I put out there is meant for demonstration and teaching purposes and not intended to be used in production. I'm very comprehensive in my explanations. In other words, I walk through them carefully and I tell you every little thing going on. And you may be like, wow, he sure tells me a lot here. But I do that because I know that if something gets skipped over, you're not sure why I assigned a variable to something or I did something over there, then you're going to get confused. At least that's what I do. I say, well, why did they do this and why did they do that? So I try to explain everything that's happening in the code or in whatever demonstration I'm doing. Most importantly, I am lucky because I've gotten to get into this really cool field of technology and I've been doing it for over three decades. I know I'm really old, but you can benefit from that because when I started, you had to pay for everything. You couldn't just have a computer at home or they were really expensive and everything cost you a lot of money. And worse, there was no training anywhere. There was no YouTube. There were none of these things. I had to go tracking down books or anything I could scratch together to learn. Well, now there's lots of free, cool toys out there. And that's what I call them toys. You can use Python. It's free. It's amazing. And you can go down and just download it and write whatever you want. There's tons of training such as my channel and many others. There's online documentation. There's books galore. You can learn all you want and build anything you want. And that's what always excited me about programming in the first place was the idea that this computer is just a virtual machine as I call it now, but a virtual magical machine I can build whatever I want with. And that's what's always excited my imagination. But I will tell you, complex technologies require more than a sound bite to explain. They don't work good on TikTok. That's why I haven't gone to TikTok because I can't do it all in five minutes. I know everybody's in a rush. I don't have time. Can't you teach me before I go to my, my yoga? But no, I can't. <laughs> Takes a little bit of work here. So why do I do this? Why all this work, Brian? What are you trying to do? Honestly, it's out of empathy. I know it's scary. 
I'm scared sometimes too. There's so many technologies, so many things out there. Many people are trying to cross over from one career to another. They see how in demand data engineering and AI and all these cool things are, but they don't know where to begin. And there's so many technologies. And just when you think you know them all, something new comes in and you're like, oh my God, I'm starting at the beginning all over again. So I get that. It's scary. And I have a lot of people who are in schools and they get comments saying, how do I do this? How do I do that? And they also are scared because they're learning really only a slice of what they need to get into the real professional world. And to be honest, colleges don't really understand what's happening in the business. So I empathize with that and I'm here to help. But here's the good news to you. Once you get through understanding the conceptual background for something and you get your feet wet and start building things with it, it gets easier. It gets easier and easier the more you use it. So like this girl here sitting in a hammock, things are kind of chill now. She knows what she's doing and she'll be able to figure out the rest as she goes. Also a nice thing to bear in mind is that the concepts in technology tend to repeat themselves. They change the words around, they try to confuse you and say it's a whole new thing. But in programming, you'll learn there's things like loops and there's variables and there's certain things you do. And in over my 30 years of doing this, that really hasn't changed. Some of the ways you do things change, some of the services and tools you get change, which is what I'm mostly talking about. But there's a sort of fundamental commonality that you'll get used to that makes it even easier to absorb new things. I rely on that every day. Trust me, I'd be lost if I didn't have the background I had before I get into all these newfangled technologies. And to make things even easier for you, could it be any easier? I know that there are focus areas that people like to focus on. For example, a lot of people want to learn all about Apache Spark and Databricks because it's so hot and everybody's hiring people in that particular skill set. So I've built playlists, one in particular, my longest playlist, 49 videos is all about Apache Spark and Databricks. You can go to my playlist link and I'll put it in the description and find all of the playlists I've created. Whenever I create more than one video on a topic, I will turn it into a playlist so that it's easier for you to focus on that technology and not have to worry about finding other videos. So do take advantage of my playlist. I put them out there to help people skill up on different areas. My second favorite one is my Python SQL because it teaches you all about using Python related to relational databases. And that includes Postgres, SQL Server, or just SQLite. So I cover a lot of stuff there. I'll put that link also in the description, but go to my playlist. There's a lot there. I cover a lot of different subject areas. And the way I typically end my videos is as follows. I want to thank you. Please like, share, subscribe. And until next time, I'm pulling for you. We're all in this together. Thank you.